This is a quick video review of the Walther P22Q, the new version, and a older suppressor, my first one actually, the uh, AWC Archangel Titanium. Um, starting with the gun, I just got this. I've had many P22s over the years, just trade them, sell them as I get bored with them. Uh, I like this one. I was just looking for a cheap host to throw this uh, suppressor on that I had in my safe that I wasn't using. Um, Smith & Wesson did away with the internal lock on this gun, which was nice. I don't remember where it was on the frame on the other one, but uh, it's nice that they, that they, got, that they got rid of that. Uh, the frame obviously has the back straps that everybody's going to, so you can change it for your hand size. I just left whatever was on it and it feels fine. Um, I did add the Silencer Co. Uh, version threaded barrel adapter for use with the suppressor. I've had it on my other ones and I had it in my box so I threw it on there. Um, I haven't had any malfunctions with this gun, however I have only shot it suppressed and as most of you know P22s run pretty much 100% with any type of ammo when using a suppressor. The added back, uh, back pressure aids in uh, e uh, ejection of uh, spent casings and uh, it really adds to the uh, function of the gun. One uh, big improvement with this over the other ones is they made more uh, cross block cuts in the light rail. A lot of you know there's some free mods on the internet where you would have to measure and cut an extra one or two in the older frame so you can mount small tack lights. Uh, so they solved that problem for you. Uh, the mag release looks to be the same. The mags look to be the same minus the different stippling on the pinky extension so obviously you'd have to match that up with the new version mag which I haven't it, it, actually it only came with one mag which kinda of pissed me off um, so now I gotta track down some, P, some P22Q mag so um, other than that feels really good in the hand a little bit better than the pre, uh, previous version and it shoots really well Moving on to the suppressor, uh, this is an older design, uh, 20, 22 can, it's sealed, which is uh, bad these days, uh, everybody's going towards the takedown cans because 22 ammo is so dirty and the powder doesn't burn reliably, so uh, it fills up with gunk, I mean a couple thousand rounds, maybe not even a thousand rounds, and the baffle or monocore, depending on what type of, type of can you have, will be pretty much uh, full of junk. Uh, however, this is uh, constructed of 100% titanium, so I got lucky there. And uh, I can throw this in the dip, and it pretty much eats all the lead out in about 8, eight to 10 hours. Uh, it did come black, but after three years of use, this is my first can. It looked all scratched up, so I actually I polished it. And as you can see, the paint stayed in the engraving, and it gives it a cool look. I don't know. I don't have any flashy suppressor so I was kind of bored one day and polished it up but uh, for an older can it's, it's it's actually not bad it's pretty quiet I don't know the actual numbers on it but uh, the first round pop is pretty bad but other than that it sounds like every other 22 can on the market uh, you can add a little white <clears throat> excuse me a white lithium grease in the in the front here <clears throat> or water to negate that uh, first round pop Balance is pretty good. The suppressor is titanium, so it doesn't add much to the uh, front, front, uh, front of the gun. But uh, let's go up back and shoot it. I almost forgot, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Corey of SilentShooters.com and Evan at OnPointFirearms.com. He's based in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, both of them have pretty much, I've bought and transferred through 
uh, every suppressor that I have. Uh, both of them are stand-up guys, have great prices, and can help you on your way to get your own toys. So definitely check them out.